Hi friends, welcome to Positive Power with your host Michelle Dion. Thank you for joining me for another week. The weather is absolutely beautiful out. Finally, spring has sprung. So are you getting outside? Are you getting some vitamin D into you? Very good. Are you cleaning up your yard? It's amazing how much crap we get in our yards over a season, isn't it? That is my chore for, for the rest of the today and tomorrow is to clean up my yard. And once the ground softens and warms up a bit more, then we can actually do some grounding or some earthing. You ever notice when you're outside in bare feet on the grass or the dirt or the sand or whatever, how good you feel? That's because we're energy. That's because you're doing a reboot while you're out there through your system because you're making that raw connection with the earth. So very important that we do that. So it's interesting. On um, the Positive Power Hour that I do on the Playfair Music Audio stream twice a week, I give out some good news. So I do a good news report, which is like a legit news report, but only good news. And I was telling a story the other day about how they're taking plastic and they're making it into roads. Um, I forget what country it was in. But it's an interesting thing because part of me says, well, that's a great idea because we're finally using the plastic. But the other part of me says, well, then the land can't breathe. So it's interesting as we're finding these solutions, figuring out what's the best solution, not just for us, the people, but also to leave our land unscathed as well too, right? Very important that we do that. And very important when we hear good news that we share it, right? Especially about plastic. I, I watch a lot of documentaries. I've been on this big plastic kick lately. Here in my house, I'm doing the great purge. I call it the purge of 2018. So I've been throwing out stuff like crazy, throwing it out, giving away. Also, just a reminder, our free clothing drive is at the end of next month, end of May. So if you're also doing the purge of 2018, put some stuff away for the clothing drive. Goes to anybody for free, no prerequisites. Everybody, 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 everybody. Can I stress that enough? Everybody. So, um, so one of the things, interesting uh, comment, that I heard or I read um, about plastic. The advantage of plastic is that it's indestructible. The disadvantage of plastic is that it's indestructible. Every single piece of plastic that we've ever made that's ever been created on this planet is still on this planet. Might be in a different form, might be floating in the ocean and broken down to a microbead, but it's still on this planet. Pretty deep, right? But you see different places that are doing different things and making change. <clears throat> There's countries that are banning it. Um, they're banning plastic bags, so they're all going back to paper bags. Good old paper bags. You know, when we used to have paper bags as a kid, I'm showing my age here, we used them to cover our books. So when you got a book, they don't even give out books at school anymore, do they? They do tablets now. But when you'd get a book, you'd get your textbook that you had to hand in at the back at the end of the year. You couldn't write on it. So we would use the paper, and I don't even know why I got into the story, but that's what we used to do. And then I could write on it and draw pictures and personalize it. Always a use for paper, right? And it's better for the environment. McDonald's as well. See, I know too much. Um, they are changing out their straws so that they're not going to be plastic anymore. They are going to be made of some sort of paper. I don't know. I'm, I get torn on that because you think, well, liquid and paper, I don't know, but they are figuring it out. So that's really cool too. So when you hear good news, you know, share it with people. Very important. You'll feel good. They'll feel good. Like, don't you feel good that I just told you these news things, right? Just like when you get a compliment, when somebody gives you a compliment, how do you feel? Do you find it hard to take? I used to find it hard to take. And I would feel as soon as somebody complimented me, I would feel the urge to compliment them back. Isn't that interesting? Even though you know and they know that you just came up with that. Not that it isn't sincere, but you didn't have the intention of our... It's an interesting thing, right? We all need to learn to take compliments. That is absolutely for sure. So my thing for you today and for this week is I want you to start looking for more good news going on in the world and appreciate it and share it. Share the good news, right? Lots of stuff going on. We dwell too much on the problems. We need to look at the problems. You have to look at them. But pick out the key elements. And then, my friends, 
look for a solution. So there you go. There's your video for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again next week. And don't forget, whatever it is you're questing in your life, you can have it. You are just as capable as anyone else. So don't forget how awesome you are.